Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many web developers encounter. Our viewer asks, is there any way to just search the whole HTML document for a piece of text without worrying about tags, classes, and other complexities? Let's dive into this intriguing challenge and explore how we can simplify text searching in HTML. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To search for a piece of text anywhere in an HTML document using XPath, we can use the Contains function. This allows us to find text without worrying about the specific tags or classes. Here's how you can structure your XPath query. You can use the syntax, contains text, your text here. This will search through all elements in the document. If you wanna search for text that might be part of a larger string, this method is very effective. Just replace your text here with the text you are looking for. Finally, you can execute this XPath query in various programming environments, such as JavaScript, Python, or even directly in browser developer tools. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To find a piece of text anywhere in a document using XPath, you can use the following expression, double forward slashes followed by text and contains function with your keyword. If you want to return the parent element where the keyword is found, you can use one of these XPath expressions. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To find a piece of text anywhere in a document using XPath, you can use the function contains with the syntax contains keyword. This will return true if the keyword is found in the document's string value. Keep in mind that this method can match substrings that are split across different elements, which may not always be what you want. matching across elements is undesirable, check out the linked answer for alternative solutions. Also, consider reviewing resources on testing text nodes versus string values in XPath for deeper understanding. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.